they're good looking. If you are looking for a short conditioning workout, this is the workout for you then. All you need are a pair of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I'm using 12s and a mat if you're on a hard surface. You ready? Awesome. Let's go get warmed up. Why, hello there. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and over50fitness.co. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, click that subscribe button so we can keep training together. And if you are enjoying this workout ads free on the Over 50 Fitness app, make sure you head to our private community after this workout so we can have a conversation and you can let me know what you thought of it. All right, let's get warmed up. As we warm up, I'm going to chat about the workout as well as what METCON stands for, what metabolic conditioning is all about. You ready? Awesome. Get down on the ground, please. Heels close to the bum and hip width apart. Get a hip bridge for me. When we bridge up, we're not flaring the rib cage, so the movement's coming through the glutes. Beautiful. Heels are close to the bum. That's going to get us more glute activation. Arms down by your side, because now when we lift, I want you to lift up that right arm and reach across on an angle and come back down. And now the left arm, reach across. So now we're also getting your T-spine warmed up while we work in and warm up into the lower body. One more each side. Last one. And release. Roll on over, come into a plank position, but on all fours. So wrists under shoulders, knees apart and under the hips. Lift the knees up and hover. This is called a bear position. And we will be in this position for one of the exercises. Now, if you need to take a break, you can drop your knees down on the ground. Or if this is bothering your wrists or your shoulders, you can bring it right down into a either modified plank or full plank. All right, so keep holding. We're warming up your core here. Firing everything up there. Last three, two, one, release. All right, take yourself up into a standing position. Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out. Squat, arms come up and then lift up. Beautiful. So METCON stands for metabolic conditioning and it's basically a workout that circuit format you're using as many muscles as you can in one exercise so you get the most efficient uh, workout as well as the most highest calorie burn. It's a great way to train if you're short on time. It's also a type of workout that I program for a lot of my clients who are seeing me for weight loss. So four more. Here's four, three, two, one more. One, excellent, here we go. Step back for me, hip extension, arms reach up. Now, if this hip extension feels okay, you can add a lunge to it. Now, the arms are moving simply so we get the shoulders involved in the movement patterns because as mentioned, a metcon means we're working as many muscles as possible in an exercise. So a lot of the movements, we have both upper and lower working at the same time. One more each side. Last one, beautiful. You can hold on to something if you'd like, but I want you to give me a straight leg side, leg lift, and you're going out on a bit of a 45, leading with the heel, activating the outer hip here. Last four, stabilizing leg is soft. Three, two, one, other side, here we go. Press it back, good. Now our first exercise is a reverse lunge to shoulder press. Two more, last one. Beautiful. All right, grab a sip if you need it. I'm using my 12. You're going to hold on to it near me with this hand. And the opposite leg steps back for the lunge. And then you come knee up and press. All right, in the modified screen, you'll see I'll kickstand this leg down. You ready? Let's give it a try. So you're going to step back. And again, you lunge as deep as it feels comfortable for you. Knee up, press. Good. So if you want to Step back like we did in warm up and just perform that hip extension instead of a full lunge. That feels better for your knees. You do that. Now you can kick down this leg down if you'd like, as you see there in the modified screen. All right. A lot of core activation with this too. It's a great move to hit pretty much every muscle in your body. Now 40 seconds are on the clock. We get a 15 second breather and then we'll do the other side. Whew. 
time. Beautiful. Nicely done. All right. So be aware. One side might be a little bit more on balance than the other. So softness in the stabilizing leg. Arm up. And remember, we lunge back with the other leg. You bend that knee as much as you want. Knee up or kickstand, your choice. Now, if you're having some shoulder issues and pressing the arm up is irritating the shoulder joint, just keep the arm down. Don't do the press. Remember, we want to work around issues that are happening in your body, not work into them and create more issues. Now, when the timer goes, we'll have a dumbbell in each hand for a row and tricep move. Time. All right. Hip hinge. That means feet hip width apart, knees are soft, and you're hinging from the hip joint. Row, arms are straight, then press back for a straight arm. Press back. Ready? Here we go. Give me a row. Straighten the arms. Now press back, working in the triceps. Row, press back. Now, no time should you feel your low back on this. That's why we want to learn that hip hinge pattern. If you've been with me before, you know that I deem it probably the most important movement pattern to learn. Next to a squat. <laughs> so as you press back, squeeze those triceps. Don't swing. You're pressing back with the triceps and lowering with the shoulders, okay? One more each. Time. Keep these feet hip width apart. We have four different moves here. You hinge, you swing, you rock, you squat. You want to try it? <laughs> here we go. Feet hip width. So first we hinge, we swing, we rock, we squat. Good. Hinge, up, squat. Now how far you squat is up to you. If you're intermediate advanced though, I want to see you squat deep, okay? Elbows to knees if you can. So swing, hinge, use the hips to get the dumbbells up there, swing them up, rock them there, and then squat. Heart rate should be getting up there now, yeah? <laughs> Breathing, getting elevated, muscles getting warm. One more. Time, all right. One arm row to prone squat. If you don't like being on your hands, or if you're a beginner, you're doing a one leg deadlift to row that you'll see in the corner. Everybody else, dumbbell in the left hand. Row. Now your head should be past your fingertips, feet shoulder width apart. After you've done the row with the left hand, sit the bum back and then come back forward and row. Sit the bum back so we stay with that left arm. Don't change. Those of you doing the alternative exercise, you've kicked down one leg, do a deadlift, then a one arm row, and then come out of the deadlift. Remember with your one leg deadlift, you're hinging from the hip. That leg that's kickstanding, very little weight in that leg. Time. All right. That's how that one rolls. Now we got the other side. So whether you're standing or down here with me, get the dumbbell in the other hand. All right, here we go. Set up, feet wider than shoulders here with me. Here we go, row. Sit back, row, sit back. So this program, we have eight total moves, only two rounds. So it's short and sweet. Chest fly to crush press coming up. We'll be on our backs and both dumbbells in the hands. That prone squat, as you sit your bum back, you should be really feeling your quads. Time. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, PJ, I'm there. <laughs> Check. All right, heels close to the bum. Okay. Start with the elbows pointed out, dumbbells touching, palms facing each other. Perform the chest fly, and then when the hands come back together, crush press. Crush press just means that the dumbbells stay touching, and you lower down to the upper chest and abdomen area. 
So chest fly here, working into the pecs and front shoulder. Crush press, working into the pecs, but a little bit more emphasis into the triceps. Excellent. Now we're moving into our eighth exercise, so the final one of the round coming up. It's a walkout to that bear position that we learned in warm up. Now, if walkouts bother your shoulders or the wrist, you'll see in the alternative screen, I'm doing a forearm plank time, and you'll hold that plank, okay? You won't do a thing, you'll hold it. Everybody else that wants to walk out with me, all right, let's see if we can keep the legs fairly straight so that we stretch into the hamstrings. Reach up, walk out, good. Now step the left foot in, knee under hips, right foot in, knee under hips, press, and then step back, good. And then walk back, good, reach up. Fairly straight leg if you can, walk out. Slow and controlled with that bear. Pause it there for a breath and then step back. Okay, otherwise a forearm plank. You'll see I'm on my toes in the alternative, but remember you've got that option. You can always go to the knees if you need to modify your plank. One more. Time, all right, from the top, yeah? It's our lunge to press, so give yourself some room. Mirror me, dumbbell in this hand, we're stepping back for a lunge on this side. Ready, set, and go. Lunge it, kicks down the leg, or lift the knee up and work on that stability and balance with me. It's really hard to do a shoulder press Ooh, after the lunge, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, but tell your muscles this is our last round, okay? This is the perfect workout for when you're short on time, but you want to see results. Here you go. Time. Woo. And remember that Lunge can be a hip extension so you don't bend that back knee. All right, do what feels good for your joints. Here we go, arm up, all right. Knee up if you'd like. Start with the lunge and then press. We're moving into that two arm row to straight arm press back, coming up. Time, all right, so dumbbell in each hand. What's our first setup? Feet hip width. Knee soft and then hip hinge. Pull the belly button in towards the spine to activate that deep core. Here we go, row, squeeze the shoulder blades, arm straight, press back, slowly lower, row. So feeling in between the shoulder blades right there as the elbows come up and then behind the arms as the straight arms press back. Last press back and come on up. All right, we have hinge, swing, rack, squat. Look, we hinge, swing, and then squat, okay? Yes, perfect. Feet, shoulder width or hip width. Don't go too wide on this. Here we go. Hip, hinge, swing it, rack it, drop it. Good. So you will allow some momentum. You will allow swinging with those arms. Good. Past the halfway. 
Now, one arm row to prone squat coming up. That's where we're in that high plank with the dumbbell under the left hand, or one leg deadlift to left hand row. Time, okay? Whew. And if you're rowing, sorry, if you're rowing with your left, you want to kick down with your left foot. Here we go, feet shoulder width apart. Keep those hips square, give me a row. Good, now sit back. Always same with the left. Full round here. Last couple of reps, come on. Keep that form, keep it crisp. Time. All right, the other arm. So whether you're standing or with me, you wanna get set up, okay? Where's our setup down here? Feet shoulder width apart, head just past the fingertips. Ready, set, Whew. go. Row first, good, sit back. If you're standing, you'll deadlift first and then row. Chest fly to crush press coming up. Time. On your back, dumbbell in each hand now. Everybody's with me. We start with the hands above the chest, elbows slightly bent out. Heels close to your bum, palms facing. Fly, dumbbell stay together, drop down to the belly, and then do it again. Back of the neck is long. How you doing at home? Yeah? We're on our last exercise coming up. Time, all right, walkouts to bear or forearm plank from toes or knees, all right? And you just hold the plank if you're there. Here we go, stand with the length of yourself in front of you. Reach up, hinge, walk forward, high plank, step forward to bear, slight pause, step back, walk back. Reach, good. Feel those hamstrings get a nice stretch as we sweep the arms down. And then come on up. Wrists under shoulders when you're in high plank. Feet are hip width apart and they stay hip width apart even on that bare portion. Woo! Time, let's finish it wherever you're at. Finish the move. And well done, you at home. Woo! Let's do high fives. Come on. High five, high five. Good job. All right, grab a quick sip of water. I know that the reason you clicked on this workout most likely is because it's quick, right? 20 minutes. So we'll do a quick stretch so you can continue on with your day. Woo! All righty. Heel to the bum. Feel that stretch in the quad, pull the knee back, squeeze the bum forward. Now listen, if you aren't able to get your heel up, don't worry about it. Grab an old necktie, bathrobe tie, yoga tie, wrap it around your foot and hold like so. Yeah, no worries. Everybody moves differently. <laughs> and your joints are telling you something. So you need to listen and you need to respect and 
We may get more um, movement out of the joint. We may not. But the important thing is that we don't regress anymore, so we keep up movement patterns. Here we go, other side. Nice big breath. Whew. Beautiful. Now, feet hip width, step back with your left and then drop the knee and tuck the tailbone under to get a nice length into that hip flexor. Interlace the hands behind the head. Allow your upper body to extend back slightly. So now we open up the chest and stretch in that area. If you want as well, you can also keep it completely passive and come down with that back knee on your mat. Once again, it's up to how you're feeling and uh, how the knees are feeling too, right? <laughs> All right, release the hands. Let's take the other leg back. Drop that back knee, tuck the tailbone under. That's important. So we're activating this back of glute, your right glute this time. Bring the arms in front, separate the shoulder blades, tuck the chin in, Ooh, and get a lovely stretch in your upper back. Now, if you want to move with this, like side to side, try it out. I like moving with my stretches. Kind of ekes out a few more kinks. And release. Final stretch for the sides of the body. Feet together, inhale the arms up, interlace the hands, your pointed finger is extended up. Elbows are close to your ears. Drop your body laterally to one side. And you'll feel that stretch down the other side of the body. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As mentioned, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Or if you want to try out this workout ads free as well as workouts from eight other amazing instructors, Grab your free trial of my app, Over 50 Fitness, down in the description below. Back to center, lift up, other side. Back to center, feet apart, bring the arms apart and cactus the arms down nice and slow. Thank you for joining me. Drop a comment down below. I want to hear from you. Have yourself a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next workout. Bye.